Trying to make up your mind, huh? Biden accused Putin of flagrantly violating international law in what he called the beginning of a Russian invasion of Ukraine and promised that more sanctions will be coming if Putin proceeds further. I'm going to begin to impose sanctions in response far beyond the steps we and our allies and partners implemented in 2014. And if Russia goes further with this invasion, we stand prepared to go further as with sanctions. Who in the Lord's name does Putin think gives him the right to declare new so-called countries on territory that belong to his neighbors? This is a flagrant violation of international law and demands a firm response from the international community. Over the last few months, we've coordinated closely with our NATO allies and partners in Europe and around the world to prepare that response. We've said all along, and I've told Putin to his face some month, a month, more than a month ago, that we would act together. And the moment Russia moved against Ukraine, Russia has now undeniably moved against Ukraine by declaring these independent states. So today, I'm announcing the first tranche of sanctions to impose costs on Russia in response to their actions yesterday. These have been closely coordinated with our allies and partners and will continue to escalate sanctions if Russia escalates. We're implementing full blocking sanctions on two large Russian financial institutions, VEB and their military bank. We're implementing comprehensive sanctions on Russian sovereign debt. That means we've cut off Russia's government from Western financing. It can no longer raise money from the West and cannot trade in its new debt on our markets or European markets either. The president joined the 27 European Union members who unanimously agree on Tuesday to levy their own initial set of sanctions targeting Russian officials over their actions in Ukraine. Biden said he was also moving additional U.S. troops to the Baltic states on NATO's eastern flank bordering Russia. Putin early recognized the rebel region's independence and borders that existed when they declared their independence. This attracted condemnation from around the world as Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said he would consider breaking diplomatic ties with Russia and Kyiv recall its ambassador in Moscow.